I've gone ahead and hooked up the airline from my pump to the fill valve over here. And as you can see, there's a small fitting that connects to the fill valve. This is the fill chuck, and that screws on. There's a thread, threaded end here, and then there's a rubber gasket to seal it. And that will just be the point of uh, connecting somewhere in the fuselage to uh, connect when I need to fill up the air tank. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill up the tank with my pump and uh, get a about 100 psi reading from my tank and that will give me enough air to work with to then test the whole system over here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this some pumps until my gauge reads about 100 psi. On the nose gear retract, the purple line is hooked up to the end of the cylinder, and that's because of the configuration of the air cylinder inside of the retract and the piston to the cam follower and the cam lock. So the red line, which extends the retract, is actually hooked up to the side of the uh, cylinder versus the wing retract. The extended red line is hooked up to the end of the cylinder and the purple line is hooked up to the side of the cylinder for retracting the gear. So uh, just a piece of information to keep in mind if you have the same retracts as I do that your airlines could be different for the nose gear versus the wing retracts. As you can see, I got about 100 psi in there, so the tank has got air in it, and the system's ready to go. The pressure gauge is extended out. Hope you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and actuate the retracts, and to do that, I'm going to use the speed control valve, and that has a uh, plunger. And what you do is just slide that back and forth. In this case I'm going to push it this way. Okay. And as you can see it extended the retracts, nose gear, wing, and wing. Now I'm going to go ahead and actuate it to close the gear. And I'll leave it on the gear this time as I do it. Retract. There it is again. Retract. And extend. That's the system, but you can see that it works and that the speed control does actuate the gear the way it's supposed to. The one final thing on the speed control here. These are needle valves on the top here and based on how closed or open you have that, it di dictates how much air will go to the retract. So if I open it up all the way, they'll just pop open, which is not very realistic. So the more you close it, the slower it goes and the more realistic your retracts will look as you extend them or retract them. So that you just have to play with until you get it to where you like it. And then you lock them with these screws at the bottom with a little lock tight and set them in place. That concludes the airline system demonstration. I will continue on with uh, routing the airlines now for the wings and that will just consist of these airlines here and those will be connected to the quick disconnects inside the fuselage. And I hope that uh, you can use it to your advantage. Thanks again for watching.